curious what you would say uh, to people who look at this. We've heard a lot about cutting people up into groups, uh, which on this program we've discussed the limitations of that. But on the one hand, uh, it is white men uh, who are skeptical of Kamala Harris. Uh, it is white and Latino men that are breaking towards Trump. Um, I know what the question is. Country. Continue. <laughs> continue. Should I continue? I or you, go, you, you can go ahead. If you got the gist of it, go ahead. Well, it's sad but true. Some of my brothers have been drinking that Kool-Aid. And I just hope that they get their minds straight, get their minds right in time for this election. If they're conscious, if they're aware, there's no nothing that this other guy can do that's going to put us, not just black folks, but Americans in a better position going forward. So I urge, and, and I got to give credit to President Obama because he's been... He's been going really hard in on the brothers. Some might think too hard, but I don't think so. We got we got to wake up, you know, and don't go for the okie doke, the flim flam. Can't do that. We got to support our sister to become the first woman president of the United States of America and the first sister. And then for this guy to say she's not black. Has he ever heard of Howard University? <laughs> H-U, A-K-A, those two get you in right away already, you know, Howard A-K-A sorority, so uh, it's, it's uh, I know I'm laughing, you know, some smiles, some jokes, but it's, it's serious business. Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwame Asha'ala, Koho Lohim Allah, Yehovah Ba'ashim Yahushai, Ba'ashim, Rekha HaKadash, double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well. That by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water toward the Akim and Akwaf. That's out here sincerely, keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Shai to the best of their ability. My name is Yahana Nawaf, just coming at you with another quick lesson. Praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And as you can see, another one. I'm putting them all on spot, you know, by the Spirit. We're putting them all on blast, man. On uh, Spike Lee, we've heard from a number of um, men. As far as so-called black men, you know, as far as the community of so-called black people, which there is no such thing, you know, um, there's no such thing as black people. No one looks like a damn car tire. You can't fly to a city called black. You can't f fly to a country called black. You can't fly to a continent called black. You can't ride the bus there. Can't get in your car and say, hey, I'm going to black. And. That's a real stumbling block to our people. That that mindset that everyone with melanin are the same people. And that's just not true. Scripturally, there are biblical nationalities. You have Edomites, which is the so-called white race. You have Moabites, which is the so-called Chinese race. You have Ammonites, you know, which is the so-called Japanese race. You have Elam, which is the so-called East Indian race. You know, all, all nations, there's 18 nations. All those nations have a biblical nationality. There's no such thing as a German in the Bible. There's no such thing as a Russian in the Bible. There's no such thing as a Chinese person in the Bible. These are all new names that are in the earth. And mainly it's from Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. The reason why we call him so-called white, because he's not actually white. There's no such thing as white people. No one looks like a glass of milk. No one looks like the clouds. No one looks like even the chemtrails that they be spraying in the sky. They're Edomites. And now when we get off into what Kamala's father said, I've been saying this video after video. Now, her father is 86. He's supposedly 86 years old. They say Jamaican, you know, he's from Jamaica or the landmass of Jamaica. Just because someone lives in a landmass, that's not their nationality. That is just not a continent or a landmass. It, it's not a nationality. Right. But what her father has said, and you never see him interviewed. You see those little commercials with her mom on there. You, you No one is interviewing her mom. They pretty much telling them pretty much, hey, y'all shut the fuck up. Be quiet until I win this election type of deal. You know, because. Why is she going after her 
East Indian um, um, men? Why, why aren't they being, um, you know, interrogated, so to speak? Why isn't Obama popping up in East Indian um, restaurants and shit with the statue with the eight arms on it as far as their God goes? And why isn't he like, hey, well, you, you, you Indian men, you should be, uh, she's, a, she's your sister. <laughs> why aren't they doing that? Because that's all crafty counsel, man. They want you to believe that everyone with melanin are the same people. And that's just not true. The only people that's on the planet that don't have melanin is the so-called white man. And he's the one that's, you know, pushing all this melanin shit, putting everybody together. Like, how could you be two continents? So-called black people call themselves African and American. But when you look into, you know, the, the word or name Africa, it, it, you know, the continent was eventually named after a so-called white man. Before that, it was named Hum, H-A-M, Hum, right? So lock it for that. And, yep, 144, call Hello, you know, But, and there, in, in this continent, in America, where this guy's sitting here with these dumbass glasses on, you know, that's his trademark. He got a trademark look. He's got a um, whole look that people have been following for quite some time. He's had this same, this black, you know, we've seen his movies, you know what I'm saying? So here you go. A guy that's, you know, popular for, you know, so-called black movies, you know, black culture. And this guy don't even know what his real nationality is. He really thinks that he's black. He really thinks that he's African-American. And America is named after a so-called white man. So you have two continents that our people say that they are African-American. That's saying you descend from two different white men, which is actually H-O-M-O, you ask me, because two white men getting together to, to, to produce some so-called Negroes. I mean, that's come on, bro. Let's just be anyway. But your seed line goes to your father. And I just wanted to mention that she spoke on. I mean, her father actually said that. His mother was so-called graped by a so-called white man. That his father is a so-called white man. He actually said that. Now, if that's not true, the fact check will be there. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, from what the articles that I've seen, as far as what her father said, and I'm just saying that if what he has said is true, then, of course, she's, she's a so-called white woman. She's just a so-called white woman with tent. We have these people out here. You got Tracy Ellis Ross, you know, which is Diana Ross's daughter. You know, she get her, she get a little bit of that. I can't even say color. She gets a little bit of her color intent from um, Diana Ross. You know, she got that, you know, little kind of somewhat kinky hair, a little curly hair. You know, she kind of got a, she definitely got a nice shape. She got the so-called black woman shape and people really think that that's a so-called black woman, but it's not by the spirit. She's a so-called white woman or an Edomite because her dad is an Edomite. So let's get to the specifics on the races as far as biblical. All this white, Russian, German, Italian, you know, all these different names. Those names are not in the Bible, man. We're going back to the original, the script. We're going back to, matter of fact, let's get Numbers chapter 1. We're going back to what the Lord said, and that's the beauty of, the beauty of this truth. All the lies, those barriers are being broken down. See? And, and they can't hide behind the lies of I'm white no more. They can't hide behind the lies of, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm these different people that they keep naming. That's not biblical, man. Like, where do these names come from? Because the scripture says that Esau was red. That he was gifted with the sword. That he was a cunning hunter. You know, all these attributes that only fit one race of people, the so-called white man. You know, all, all nations got a different spirit on them, man. You know, the Lord gave all nations a different spirit, which is beautiful. But he chose one people, which are the Israelites. And for this guy, Spike Lee, to be sitting there talking like we should have our mama over us. You know, get one of them mammy niggas. You know, it's a lot of you for the language, but you know. She's a sister. No, she's not. No, you know, everybody with melanin men are not the same people. That's just not true. You can actually Google that. I haven't Googled it, but maybe we can, if, you know, by the spirit, if I remember after we get the scripture. 
But everyone with melanin is not the same people, man. An Ethiopian is not going to agree with you niggas. You think an Ethiopian is going to gonna say that they're actually related to you Negroes? Are you crazy? Man, they trying to get the fuck away from you. Last thing they want to be seen as is, is a so-called Negro in America. When they come here, they, they come here to get money and they come in to lick the wound just like all the other nations lick the wound on our people. They come, they set up restaurants, they set up some type of um, um, a business within our neighborhoods and they just doing what the other nations are doing. You think that they actually going to say, oh, well, we're both from the continent of Africa. We're the same people. No, the fuck they not, man. <laughs> let's just be honest here. But let's let's start from the top here. Numbers chapter one. Point I want to get is in verse two, but we can start from the top. Verse one, numbers one and one. The Lord spake unto Moses in the wilderness of Sinai, in the tabernacle of the congregation, on the first day of the second month, in the second year, after they would come out of the land of Egypt, saying, Take ye the sum of all the congregation of the children of Israel, after their families, by the house of their fathers, with the number of their names, every male by their opposed. It says the house of the fathers, not the house of the mothers. It says every male by their pose, not every female by their pose. So once you go down here to verse 18, it gets to the point of the pedigree, which that's what a family line is, a family tree. So the house of Kamala's father is a so-called white man. If what her dad is saying is true. And even if she so let's just say she was a so-called black woman. What does the scripture says about a woman um, usurping authority over the man? We still wouldn't be able to vote for her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because she's not to usurp authority over the man. She's not to be over our men. It just is what it is. She's not to be over us. A woman, her place is at home teaching the younger women how to, you know, um, be wives, how to treat the husband, how to carry on, you know, in the household, how to, you know, um, treat the children and, 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 you know, doing those those womanly things at the house. That's what the woman is designed for. So for Spike Lee to be like, oh, well, she will be the first man. Fuck, I, you know, it just lets you know. These people are paid off. They're, they're you know, they're just playing their parts. If you think Spike Lee really care about you so-called black people, you are out your goddamn mind. Ain't no telling how much they paid him to go in there and do that little 30 second segment. He probably got paid. Maybe he didn't get paid. Either way, he's not for you because. Here you go. You got a man that, that that's pretty much his. All his movies are about black, 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 black people. But he's trying to push you to vote for a woman that wants you to abort black, 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 black people. Don't make no fucking sense. Why isn't he going against what? Why isn't he saying, well, she's about us, you know, deleting our babies. Since he's so pro black. And since she's so pro-black, why is she uh, running her campaign like that? If she's so pro-black, why is she with a so-called white man? Raising a so-called white man's kids, which are her stepkids. She don't even have no kids of her own. Why? Because they look at you, 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 Jake, man. You, they look at you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans like you're just stupid as hell. Now, the women, of course, they're, they're going to run with that because, you know, they want... She's running on that. Oh, this is my body, my choice. But what she's telling you <laughs> is, is to, you know, delete your babies, man, which are our people. And here you go. You got this token Negro. He's trying to act as if Trump is so against us. Now, don't don't mind you. Trump, he's against abortion because their people are dying off quicker than they're being born. That's why Trump is, is pushing against the Roe versus Wade. He don't care about you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, neither, you know. But at least through his policy, our people will still continue to be born, <laughs> you know, even though he's wicked as hell. So here you go. You got your boy Spike Lee, man. Now, he's the next one. We've seen all. Obama is not one of our people. He's a damn Hamite. I'm talking about, yeah, Obama, he's on the brothers. Yeah, man. Hey, look, these men, look, the brothers are, are, are far past that now. The Lord is changing up the earth, man. The Lord is making a move in the earth and he's bringing up the Hebrew Israelites, man. The so-called, especially Judah, your so-called black man, because the, 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 uh, the tribe of Judah is the top tribe. 
the same way that they put all the heat on the top tribe, Judah, you know, the ones that, you know, because cause Judah is the one that's, that catch the most heat. You can't get around that. And they understand that Judah, the so-called black man, race, you know, are the, the most influential people in the planet. So they understand if we can get him, we got the rest of them. If we can get that one, we got the other 11 brothers, the other 11 tribes. Northern Kingdom, Southern Kingdom. Blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, Jamaicans, Haitians, Latinos, <laughs> Colombians. I'm talking about of the, the Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob race. The DNA of, the, of those men. The offspring. Because there's plenty of people that live in those areas. It's, 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 it's all kinds of people that live in all continents. But this is a DNA thing. It's about Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And like I said again, Kamala, if what her dad is saying is true, she's not one of us. She's a Edomite. And, and, and if Obama, what he's saying about his lineage, he's not one of us. He's a Hamite. It is what it is, man. I mean, you know, it, it's per it makes perfect sense. But the spirit got to be dealing with you to um to understand that. So Spike Lee, man, shh, here you go. What he had school days, and he like, wake up. You know what um, Lawrence Fishburne. <laughs> hey, that was a big movie back in the days. You know you had um. You know, like, you know, movie. He had some pretty decent movies. You know what I'm saying? I kind of stopped watching him after the first two movies. It was kind of like he was a little more, you know, repetitious about the same old thing, same old thing, same old thing. A lot of those movies didn't have a lot of substance to me. So I, re I really never liked him anyway like that. But I do remember those popular movies, you know, that, um, you know, because you had Public Enemy. Um, Fight the power, you know, that type of shit. Fist up in the air, you know, all that black, black. You know, they used to wear the African medallions and shit, the red and black and green and all that bullshit. But, you know, that that was, you know, what our people believed in. And, and, and the, uh, a real generation came out of that. Still carrying on to this very day. You know what I'm saying? Where our people actually believe in African culture. We're Africans. No, the fuck we're not, man. We're, we're Israelites. And the so-called white man, he wants that. He wants to push that on you. It's all crafty counsel, man. So we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. Let's get that real quick. We'll end out. I didn't want to keep it long. But um, yeah, that color thing, man. Our people got it real bad with that color thing. You can have a, a, a Israelite that look like a, a so-called white man. You can have an Israelite that look like a so-called Chinese man. Japanese man. Because we've been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. When men have sex with women of another nation, that whole structure can be changed. That whole color look, his color, that baby could look nothing like him at all. But it's his seed. And the seed line goes through your dad, which I, you know, I didn't um, grab that. Let me, let me go back to that. Uh, Salakia, 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. Let Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Right. We're not ignorant of the fact that this man is pushing um, your biracial, your mixed, your this or that. And you can be all these different. No, your seed goes through your dad. So let's go back because a lucky idea kind of um, I was getting there. And but that's the spirit, though. Let's get um, numbers one and 18. Remember, we was talking about verses um, two where it talks about um, the seed line going through your father or every male by their pole. You know, let's go back up real quick. Right here, verse two, it says, take ye the sum of all the congregation of the children of Israel after their families by the house of their fathers. That's the way that that's the way that the seed line goes. That's the way that the pedigree goes. That's the way that the family tree goes. That's your roots. Everybody knew this 100 years ago. This was nothing to be even be even challenged 70 years ago, 60 years ago, 50 years ago. But in 19 in the 1970s. This is when people started to, it was a, uh, I think she was a scientist or some lady came up with this biracial shit, you know? Now, because Esau would always clown you about you being tainted or you having a, uh, they used to call it the 1% rule. Even they knew, you know, that if you, if, if a so-called white woman dealt with a so-called um, black man, that that child was, you know, they, they, they call them um, what, tainted or whatever the case they want to call them, you know? Anyway, though, let's go into this real quick, though. Numbers chapter 1 and verse 18. Get to the pedigree part. Matter of fact, let's pull it in the blue letter. That way I get it in the blue letter. I can um, 
kind of give it, we can look into the word and see what it means. Yeah, this is very, very important information to know. It's, it's, it's milk, but it's also um, meat. You know, it's kind of, you know, goes kind of dark as well. Because see, once you get that verse two right there where it talks about the family, right? And their families by the house of their fathers with the numbers of their names, every male by their pole. So what, 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 what does it start doing right here? You see? Tribe leaders. It goes into the men. They don't give you no tribe leaders as far as no women. It gives you the tribes of Israel. Then it goes on to say right here in verse 18. And they assemble all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees after their families. See? By the house of their fathers. Not the house of their mothers, man. According to the number of the names from 20 years old and upward by their poles. Right. In the NLT, the New Living Translation, it says, and they assembled the whole community of Israel on that very day. All the people were registered according to their ancestry by their clans and families. The men of Israel who were 20 years old and older were listed one by one. So why didn't they say the women? Because Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, he's a crafty guy and he, he understands that I can't let these people know that I'm Esau. We must cover that. We're going to give everybody different names. We're going to give everybody a smorgasbord of different um, identities. But they can't find out that we are the, end of the Edomites. Why? Because they understand that they are the end of the world. They understand that if these people find out, matter of fact, they, they go back to um, the seed of Cain, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they are the reincarnation of Cain on, on the planet. You know, remember Cain? He was like, hey, my punishment is too much for me, Lord. The Lord, so, uh, you know, um, put the mark on him. And he was talking about how, you know, um, uh, if the people see me, they're going to, um, you know, destroy me or, or kill me. That mark that the Lord put on, on, on Esau was he stripped him of his melanin. It wasn't about no, you know, you got these Christians, you know, that, you know, these Christians that will be talking about how, you know, the Lord, the Lord put a big scar on his forehead. He had this big cross on his head or, you know. The Lord put a scar on him. Nah, man. The Lord stripped him of his melanin. And then he was reincarnated as Esau. Scripture says that he came out red all over like a hairy garment. That red, Esau is the only red people on the planet. But they're telling you that they white. They're telling you that they look like a glass of milk. That's all um, pseudoscience, man. That's all um, 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 crafty counsel. And people actually really believe that, you know, it's, it's people that really say you're, you're the white people. No, they're actually red. They look like fucking brake lights on, a, on, on an ambulance. I, I say they're red, man. They're cunning hunters. They were gifted with the sword. What do you think the sword is today? These people got nuclear weapons, man. They take out a goddamn continent. This man goes and hunt. It says he was a cunning hunter. He hunts people. He hunts F, um, um, buffalo. He hunts um, rhinoceros. He, he hunts elephants. He hunts lions. He hunts all kinds of things for sport. See? This is what this man does. He's a cunning hunter. So we put the pieces together. The scripture says that he's the, the, the border of wickedness. Think of, look at all the wickedness that this man has done. Look at all the shit that he got going on in the world. I just came from the plantation. I went to the plantation this morning. You know how you have the chemtrails in the sky? Well, they call them chemtrails, right? <laughs> this motherfucker done a whole U-turn in, 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 in the skies, man. That shit was a circle. This motherfucker done a circle with the jet. I've, now, I've always just seen straightforward streaks. This motherfucker had a streak that was in a, in a circle like a ring, man. I'm looking like, what the... F and couldn't do nothing but throw a damn curse up on the asses, man. Because we understand that this man is the wicked that the Bible speaks of. He's the border of wickedness. He goes against everything that the Lord said that is righteous, man. You, you think this man is out here? He's telling you that he's the righteous, but that's what a damn devil does. He's the, the physical counterpart of, of, of Satan on this planet, man. The children of the wicked. Can't get around it, man. This man is doing, he's showing you who he is. He's showing you um, um, <laughs> that he's the man of the wicked, uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the children of the wicked. He's not even avoiding it no more. He used to try and be a little bit more subtle about it, but this man is straight up showing you straight the fuck up that he is the wicked. 
I was just at the um, like I said, I was at the plantation. And I'd say about a year back, about a year ago, used to be this this cute little um white chick, you know what I'm saying? Used to always see her in the um cafeteria. Now I see you know I seen this chick today. And I have been seeing her. I, I done done a few lessons where I mentioned her. You know, if, if any of you have ever listened to any of my lessons and you remember me speaking or mentioning that, you know, this cute little white chick at the job, you know what I'm saying? A little Edomite, you know, cute, real cute, nice looking, you know, but I could tell she was kind of on that, you know, that little, that manly tip, you know, manly, right? And I had mentioned that, okay, I'm, I'm assuming she's on her, you know, on whatever medication you need to grow the beard and shit, but now she got a full beard. Full blonde beard, right? So now, just before I left the, uh, you know, <laughs> I left the plantation, she walked straight into the men's room. Now all the stalls were closed. You know what I'm saying? It was like maybe about seven stalls or so in there, but of course, now all the urinals was wide open. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> of course, she can't step to the urinals. I don't. I don't think she's going that far with her, with her, uh, uh <laughs> you know, her look. Which we know she ain't going that far with her look. But as far as the appearance, this motherfucker looking like a straight dude now. She walked right into the last stall that was open. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I I, I couldn't do nothing but just shake my fucking head, man. Wash my hands <laughs> and walk the fuck out, bro. That was it. So this is the type of world that we're living in. We're living in a bizarre old world with this man running shit. You can't get around it, man. You can't you can't tell me he's not the wicked. And if, they, and if you don't believe that the spirit is really not dealing with you, man, this man is showing you on a day to day basis how wicked they fucking are, man. So it's about it's, it's getting it's about getting out of here time. So that's why we we do these lessons to let you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans know, man, um, don't be fooled by these people, man. Um, repent to the father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. Those are the true names of the father and son. The Lord is not some blonde haired, blue eyed white guy. They gave you that. Boy. That's how that lets you know right there in itself, too, that he's the damn devil. They know full well the Lord is not described in the Bible like that. You don't think that these people don't know that the letter J was, wasn't invented until 1524, 500 years ago? They know that the Lord's name can't possibly be Jesus. But guess what? They push white Jesus on the people. And our people really believe in that. And then you had Kamala, you know. <laughs> she she was at a rally uh, like a few days ago, you know. And she, <laughs> somebody screamed, Jesus is king. And she told him, you at the wrong rally. Because she was speaking on, you know, the abortion. The abort, you know. You know what I'm talking about. And our women going for it, man. They sucking it all up. That's the reason why the Lord is about to do a real number on a lot of um, so-called black women, man. You know, especially so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that's been falling for the bullshit that has been running with the so-called white man for so long, breaking up the damn household and the family. You know, so they got some shit coming to them. But anyway, this lady, <laughs> she's not for you, man. She's not for our people. And here you go. Spike Lee. Your boy, Spikey. Pushing this bullshit, man. And they're going to continue on doing it. You're going to see maybe a few more of these people pop out of the woodworks and stuff like that, you know, because it's not, they don't have that much longer to actually, what is it like? Maybe I think the election is about, I don't know, two weeks or so from now. Man, this shit is about to be chaotic. It's about to be real weirdoism out here and, and be protective of yourself. Pray to your whole bunch of as you travel, especially in Edomite neighborhoods, to do what you have to do. You know what I'm saying? Um, just be careful, man. You know, be circumspect. Scripture talks about walking circumspectly. Let's get that real quick. Because Esau about to get real weird. He already weird as hell. He about to get real wicked, though. He's about to come down with that great wrath. Ephesians 5 and 15, see then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. You're living in some very evil, wicked, demonic times, man. People are weird as shit right now. And I say weird in a <laughs> like in, in a real demonic spiritual way, man. These people are, are losing it. And they're going to really lose it if a Kamala 
actually is elected, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, you don't want to be around Esau, man. When when if this if this if this chick is elected, psh, but we're not to be um, you know, voting for any of these people. We're supposed to um have a person of our brethren over us if we're gonna have anyone over us, and you know that's just not the case on this planet right now. You know what I'm saying? The one that we should be thinking to to have over us is our king our our king yahweh first off yahweh the father yahweh by hashem yahweh you know because you got the father then you have the son then you have the men the women then the children and I always say your pets afterwards you know what i'm saying because that's the order of life that's the order um um that the lord set up and if anything is outside of that then it's um it's it's chaos you got you can't get um order out of chaos that's it you know if you get out of order you know the damn alternator can't do what the starter does you know in a car you know <laughs> the steering wheel can't do what the brakes do you know it's like you know th that would be out of order and things gonna break down that's the reason why you see so much um wickedness in the planet because esau what he has done he has taken the, the father out of the picture the son you know, the father Yahweh out of the picture, the son Yahweh Shai out of the picture, and the men out of the picture, and the women pretty much overall running shit with these badass kids, man. What, what, what kind of order do you think you're going to get out of that? Now they're trying to change your damn kids into something else. And you know what I'm talking about <laughs> as far as that goes. But I wanted to just touch on this, man. Spike Lee is out of order. And, and it's not to be surprising, man. You, we're not surprised by um the, the people that um Esau uses, you know. You know, what they call your so-called boule or, you know, these these so-called icons or these idols that our people look look to as if they're just um, iconic in our neighborhoods and shit like that. They use these people to destroy you, man. And Jake don't have sense enough to see it, you know, but Jake kind of waking up, though. Jake, Jake taking the blinders off or the Lord is taking those blinders off, rather. So I'm going to end out there, man. I pray that this lesson was edifying with that. Kwame Allah and the Bible Boy.